Hi there, this is Anub and in this video we are going to talk about some of the clarifications on Intune assignment filter video. We have published a video on Intune assignment filters and there are some clarification on that video. Some of the technical information need to be more accurate. In this video we will talk about why Intune filters are faster than Azure Active Directory dynamic groups and we'll talk about the details why Microsoft build Intune assignment filters, how filters can give more granularity in filtering on top of Azure Active Directory groups. I have received all these clarifications from none other than Microsoft Intune Filters PM Scott. He was kind enough to provide these feedbacks and it was very helpful for me to get more accurate understanding. So don't skip it. Let's go and check it out. Hey, let's go ahead and check what is there in V2 version of Intune Filters video. If you have not watched V1 version of Intune Filters video, I would recommend to watch that first. In this video, we will discuss about some clarifications on Intune filters and we will do a fresh comparison between Azure AD groups versus filters and then we'll have some accurate technical information. Before going into all those details, I would like to thank Scott for providing all these information. He was kind enough to share the feedback with all these clarifications. And don't forget about his book if you have not purchased this book i would highly recommend to purchase this this was one of the slide which i presented in the last video about intune filters so there are some clarification required on this Azure AD groups versus Intune filters. Microsoft built Intune filters to work on top of Azure Active Directory dynamic groups or static groups and it includes both user groups or device groups. Basically Intune filters will work on top of Azure Active Directory groups as you can see over here. For the assignment we need to have a group. It is mandatory to have a group. It can be either custom group or inbuilt groups like all users, all devices but it is must to have a group in any of the assignments and then it will come to filter mode. You can select the filter mode that we discussed yesterday include exclude modes etc and then you can select the filter based on the filter rule that you created. So my of build filters to work on top of Azure Active Directory groups. And what is the advantage of using Intune filters? Intune filters give you granular applicability filtering on top of group assignments. Group itself is a filter. If it is if it is a custom group, you might have created that custom group based on a rule in Azure Active Directory. If it is a dynamic group or if it is a manual group, you might have selected some of the devices or users and created that group. So a group assignment is already a filter. Intune filters are on top of group assignment. So that is why Intune filters give you granular applicability filtering on top of assignment groups. Once the group is selected, you can see the filter mode option will get enabled and then you can select filter as well. Let's move on. Why Intune filters are faster? I mentioned Intune filters are faster in the version 1 video of filters. But this is more accurate technical information. Intune filters are faster because Intune filters are just in time applicability evaluation rather than pre-computation. So in Azure Active Directory dynamic group scenario, it is using pre-computation scenario. So the updates won't be real time. So group membership updates on Azure Active Directory dynamic groups won't be up to date always. So that is why we, we could have some issues as we discussed last time with Azure Active Directory dynamic groups. Intune filter evaluation is much faster than Azure Active Directory dynamic group update or evaluation because Intune filter uses just in time applicability evaluation. There are some scenarios where you might need to use Intune filters and there won't be any other options to perform the assignment. One of the example which we discussed in the last video about Intune filters 
at the last part of the video is a particular user is assigned to a AVD multi session VM and a physical device. For a physical device, it might need to apply some of the user policies, user based applications, etc. But probably for AVD multi session VM in a VDI non persistent VM scenarios, you might not need to offer policies or applications which are specific to physical devices. So there are a lot of scenarios like like this so in this scenario probably you might need to use Intune filters and there is no other option we talked about this architecture diagram yesterday in detail so I'm not going to cover that over here but you can you can refer to the previous video I have embedded over here let's move on so this was one of the slide I presented in the last video and there was an incorrect technical information over here in terms of expressions if you are using in there should be an array of of values that is what I have shown here as well and this is the correct syntax of the Intune filter rule if you are using operator in so the point is if you are using the operator in you need to specify the values as an array for example you need to have value 1 comma value 2 etc etc and this is the correct syntax the details over here as well okay, let's move on I have mentioned in the previous video that filters cannot be used with enrollment restriction policies because one of the prerequisite for Intune filters is the device needs to be enrolled into Intune then only the evaluation engine can check the filter rules but the accurate technical information is for enrollment restrictions and for enrollment status page you can use filters but the catch is you are restricted to only use filters that have properties that are presented by the OS the properties that are presented by the OS not by the Intune and using those properties you can evaluate rules during the enrollment you can have filters for Mac OS iOS iPad OS and Windows device platforms the Android support is not there yet so in enrollment restriction policies you can use Intune filters rules or Intune filters but what I have seen is there is only one option that is include filter there is no exclude option for enrollment restriction policies and you can see an example over here this is also good for AVD scenario as as I explained over here let's move on now let's check one of the information over here in the last video I have presented a table with the supported device properties versus device platform there's one information which was not accurate that is about Mac OS enrollment profile name for Mac OS platform was not supported as per my last table but actually the accurate technical information is that it is supported enrollment profile name for Mac OS is supported let's have a quick look at some of these stuffs from Intune portal in the demo I'm in Intune portal Intune admin center devices enrolled devices and under enrolled device you can see I am in enrollment device platform restrictions as we discussed in the slide and I am in iOS restrictions scenario over here if I click on one of the existing platform restriction policy over here and go to properties try to edit this and you can see there is a filter option over here edit filter I can edit filter and I can see include filter and I don't have any filter for iOS devices that is why you cannot see any I have not created any filter rules for iOS devices that is why you can't see any filters in the list over here okay but it is supported now let's check Mac OS properties and if I click on edit assignment and say all uses now I can see there's a filter option you can add filters but I don't have any Mac OS filters so that I cannot use and for windows let's click on windows and go to properties edit and you can see there are two options exclude option is not there for filter mode include is there and you can see all the windows related filters so I can use this filter if I want that was for windows so all these three are supported with Intune filters but there's a catch as we discussed in the slide let's check Android Android is not supported Android platform is not supported 
for the filters in this context enrollment device platform restriction policies context so over here if i go to assignments there is no filter options over here so that is what i wanted to show and now check on enrollment status page if i click on enrollment status page policy over here and go to properties and over here you can see an assignment and there is a filter option so you can select filter over here in this esp you can see include and exclude filters available but for enrollment restriction policy only the include filter was available so it is possible to have filters for esp policies as well as for enrollment restriction policies now go into one of the applications not assigned yet to any of the devices or users click on edit assignment and then you will see there is a column for filter mode filters but is not enabled that is why i mentioned in the slide that intune filters are designed to work on top of azure active directory groups if you assign this particular application to all devices then the filter option will get enabled you can select the filter from here and you can include or exclude the devices from this assignment okay so that is the design principle over here okay let's check operator in by creating a filter rule expression okay I'm going to select the platform as windows and click next and then over here either i can select device name and operator in i can enter an array of values over here such as a new cmd etc okay and this is the rule syntax you can see this is the array of values which you need to provide if you are using in operator this was not accurately mentioned in the last video so if i click on edit and i just wanted to paste this query instead of this one and click on okay you can see the query rule builder got updated with these values you might have seen the video about the clarification on intune filter technical information we have discussed why intune filter is faster than azure active directory why microsoft built intune filter on top of azure active directory groups and what are the clarification provided by scott and how that is going to help you we also talked about enrollment restriction policies platform restriction policies how how we can use the filters over there and what are the differences with that filter and the filters which we use in the normal context for application deployment and policy deployment etc hope this intune assignment filter v2 version 2 video was helpful thank you all for watching see you around